Can Not I just count us down? Sure. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So the image is being created. We're bringing in graphics. We're using filters and effects, lighting effects, Gaussian blurs, transforms, all the things you need to do every single day in Photoshop. Looks like the Power Mac is uh, off to a strong start here. Pentium's a good machine. We'll, we'll give it a chance. Now you can recognize in these operations probably the same things you do every single day with Photoshop. Now we're going to transform Buzz. We're going to reduce him dramatically. Some nice progress bar. This is one of those operations that just keeps us all waiting in Photoshop, as you know. And, uh, <clears throat> but the wait is going to be a lot less now. All right. Let's see. Oh, we're done on the Power Mac T4. And the, uh, the Pentium's building the floor. All right. There's Buzz. We don't get a progress bar in the Windows version, but uh, we do get the hourglass. There. Really doing its work. I wish I could make this faster for you, but <laughs> now we did everything we could to help it. I can tell you two things while we're waiting. The first one is if you think everything this fall has to do with Toy Story 2, well, you're right. <laughs> and uh, secondly, uh, to take some of the suspense out of the demo, the Power Mac G4 executing these very common Photoshop tasks is 2x, literally twice as fast as the fastest Pentium 3 money can buy running at 600 megahertz. Twice as fast. It, it feels more than that. It does. <laughs> Well, you have to remember that twice your lifetime is two lifetimes, so it can add up. <laughs> All right. There we go. Pentium's now done. All right. <laughs>